Chapter 78 No Two in the Limelight It wasn't until Tang Yuyu disappeared completely that Qin Yu Wu slowly came out of the trembling. Tang Yuyu gave him a terrifying feeling of depression as if it was difficult to breathe in front of this person. Qin Yu is also a martial artist of the Vientian realm, but he didn't see how Tang Yuyu made a move just now. There is no doubt that Tang Yuyu's strength is far above Qin Yuyu's. Your Highness, who is this person? Qin Yu asked in a trembling voice, still in shock. Lan Binji glanced at Qin Yuyu and smiled playfully. Are you sure you want to ask this question? Qin Yu immediately trembled and said, The little one is wrong. The little one is talking too much. Lan Binji chuckled and said, You're not too stupid. Remember, there are some things, the less you know, the better. Get out now. Retire, little one. Qin Yu bowed and quickly retreated. No matter who the person who appeared just now is, Qin Yu Wu knows that this person is not something he can afford. But he was very happy because Tang Yu Yu said that he would guarantee that Lan Benji would get the Rookie King, which undoubtedly added a guarantee to the bet. Lan Benji was also relieved a lot by Tang Yu Yu's guarantee. He was very confident. Tang Yu Yu is none other than the adopted daughter of the Blood Bat Sect Master. And Lan Benji's mother, Empress, is the junior sister of the head of the Blood Bat Sect, so he called Tang Yu Yu junior sister. Lan Benji didn't know much about Tang Yu Yu. All he knew was that Tang Yu Yu was a genius fighter brought back from Sumeru Lingdu eight years ago by the head of the Blood Bat Sect. Now he is only 14 years old, but he is already the number one killer of the Blood Bat Sect. Many of the people who died at her hands were famous and powerful people. A 14-year-old girl killer, even thinking about it makes people shudder. Lan Benji knew that Tang Yu Yu would never miss, and she would be present in tomorrow's martial arts meeting, so it was foolproof. Next morning, when Ye Tian walked out of the room, Jean DeBeo and others were already waiting outside. Boss, let's go to Bayun Academy quickly. Today is the time for the Freshman Martial Arts Festival, and Jean DeBeo seemed even more excited than Ye Tian. Brother Ye Tian, I'm going too. Nye Yuro hugged Shabwai and came out of the room. Yeah. Nye Tian nodded lightly. He changed into a new suit today, and he looked completely new, energetic, and sharp. Everyone stopped delaying and went to Bayun Academy immediately. Bayun College, Martial Arts Arena. Early in the morning, a lot of people gathered outside the Martial Arts Arena, all of them were 15 or 16 year old boys, vying to be the first to gather around a red list. On the red list, the final results of yesterday's test were posted. The top 180 people are eligible to enter the Bayun Academy and become freshmen of Bayun. This year only 180 people are recruited, and I am the 182nd. What a tragedy! Someone sighed with a depressed face. What's so tragic about you? I'm the 181st. Damn it! Last year we recruited 200 people, but this year we only recruited 180. I'm jealous of talents. Another person, not only lamented, but almost went crazy, only one short, he will be able to enter Bayun. Wow! I am number 79th. On the periphery of the crowd, Chiu Linger looked excited, very excited. Sister Linger is great. Beside Chiu Linger, Nye Yuro was holding a baby, looking playful and cute. Ha ha, the boss is indeed number one. Jean DeBeo stared at the red list and laughed triumphantly. On the red list, at the top position, there is a name written impressively, Nye Tian. Chiu Shan also smiled and said, Mr. Nye smashed the force measuring tablet during the strength test. He deserves the first place. Uncle Chilshan, why did Brother Nye Tian get 20 points and I only got 8 points? Xiu Ling didn't understand why, so she pouted her little mouth, looking a little dissatisfied. Xiu Ling's felt that her talent was already very good, but she only scored 8 points in the end, which was far behind Nye Tian. Xiu Shan was also taken aback when he saw Nye Tian's score. 20 points, this is a perfect score. Full marks. How can that be possible? You can get full marks in the strength test, but how can you get full marks in the Yuan Ling test? 
If you get a full score on the Yuan Ling test, it means that the Yuan Ling qualification is the 10th rank. 10th order primordial spirit? Exist? But thinking that it was Zhang Yifeng who tested Yuan Ling for Nye Tian, Xiu Shan understood. Soon, others also noticed Nye Tian's perfect score. The news spread like the wind. After a while, everyone knew that there was a person with a perfect score on the freshman test at Baiyun College. This is a very remarkable thing. You know, there has never been a person with a perfect score in the history of Baiyun Academy. As a result, Nye Tian's limelight is truly incomparable, like no other for a while. Everyone was vying to discuss Nye Tian's perfect score and even forgot that this year a royal prince was participating in the freshman martial arts competition. Let's go. Nye Tian didn't want to stay too long, so he turned and left. The crowd behind him completely exploded at this moment. Look, that guy is Nye Tian, Master Zhang Yifeng's teacher, with a perfect score on the test. Is this guy a monster? Yeah, to be the teacher of Grand Master Zhang Yifeng, how terrifying is his alchemy cultivation? And his martial arts talent is so perverted, is he still alive? The most important thing is that he is still so young, he is simply a monster. The crowd erupted, pointing and discussing behind Nye Tian. Coincidentally, just as Nye Tian and the others were leaving, Lan Benji just appeared. Behind him were brothers Qin Yu and Qin Fong. Originally, Lan Benji had already made preparations. Once he appeared, he would cause a sensation. After all, it was unprecedented for a prince to participate in the new student martial arts meeting. However, his appearance was completely ignored. Everyone's attention was focused on Ye Tian, and they didn't even notice Lan Benji's arrival. Lan Benji's face was gloomy, and she stared at Ye Tian fiercely, almost wanting to kill him. But Ye Tian completely ignored all of this, he left directly, completely ignoring Lan Benji's existence. The figures of several people disappeared quickly, but everyone was still looking in the direction in which they disappeared. From the beginning to the end, Nye Tian didn't say a word, but he took all the limelight. Everyone's eyes stayed on him, without moving for a second. Lan Benji looked at the disappearing figure, his handsome face was almost trembling, and there was a ball of anger suppressed in his chest, he couldn't swallow or spit it out. Nye Tian! Nye Tian! If this prince doesn't kill you, I swear I won't be a human being. Lan Benji snarled from the bottom of her heart and turned around coldly. Nye Tian stole the limelight, so it would be meaningless for him to stay any longer. Brother Qin Yu Hu and Qin Feng also looked resentful. Originally, Qin Feng also hoped to compete for the Rookie King, but now he ran away with him. Even if he had the confidence to fight against Nye Tian, he couldn't compete with Prince Bingyi. But the Qin brothers are still very happy. They believed that even Nye Tian couldn't be the opponent of Prince Bingyi. When Nye Tian loses to Lan Benji, the Qin family can take over Yipinju.